Live at the White House, thank you. Good to see you. One of the biggest questions about the health care law is whether enough young and healthy people have signed up to offset the costs of the older and sicker. Tonight, Chief National Correspondent Jim Engel explains what moves young people to buy insurance or not. First. One of the biggest questions hanging over Obamacare enrollments is whether the young and healthy decided signing up was worth the money. To some, the answer is simple. There's agreement across the right and the left politically. You can ask any think tank and they will tell you that the unsubsidized rate of insurance for young adults is much higher under Obamacare. In fact, one analysis found increases for 30-year-old non-smokers as much as 193% for women and a whopping 260% for men. That's because the health care law requires a list of additional benefits some may not need or want and because it allows insurance companies to charge the young more than before compared to older people meaning the young are subsidizing others it's simply not in our best interest to sign up for something that takes an unfair share from us to give it from so to someone that has more before Obamacare, Feinberg said he had the choice of 27 plans that cost less than $100 a month. And if young people decide to pay the penalty, they can simply buy short-term insurance. With the penalty, uh, it will be less than half the cost. And again, in, mo in many cases, better benefits with only a $50 copay to visit a doctor, uh, up to $2 million uh, of coverage. In the last report, federal marketplaces were getting an average of 25% under age 34. The states, even less. Only about 20% of the signups are between the ages of 18 and 34. That's much lower than what they were expecting. But the president argues subsidies will make the cost more palatable. The truth is, is that they can get coverage all for uh, what it costs you to, to pay your cell phone bill. Yet the subsidies were often not enough to entice the young to buy. It really comes down to value. Is this product a good value to me? Is this price something I can afford? They've been very price sensitive customers. You know, price increases of 20, 30 percent were enough to drive nearly half of them out of the market. We're seeing 150 percent increases, in some cases more. Supporters hope young people will want insurance anyway. The reason young adults will sign up is because they know when they're playing football or soccer or you know, things happen that are unpredictable. But many argue young people would be better off paying the penalty and buying other insurance. In any case, the exchanges need far more than 25% of the young to keep rates from soaring. The administration argues it got more young people in the closing days. The question is whether it was enough. Shannon? Jim, do you think we'll ever get the hard data of those numbers eventually? Uh... Will they get enough young eventually? Will we find out exactly how many have signed up? We will find out at some point, but it may be a while. All right, Jim, thank you. You bet. Well,